Hey everyone, today we're going to look at how we create a graph from some data using Google Sheets. I have some information here related to social media, and I've already come up with the relative frequency and the cumulative frequency as we have talked about previously. Um, today, though, I'm just going to focus on the cumulative frequency here. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to highlight the cumulative frequency. I'm going to highlight both the title and all of those numbers right there. And then I'm going to go up here to insert. And I'm going to insert a chart because that is what we are going to be creating. Now, when you get this chart, it's gonna appear right on top of all of your data. So you're gonna to have to drag this and move it somewhere else. And I'm just gonna drag it off here on the side so that I can still see all of my numbers right there. Once we have our chart in place, if you come down here and you look, this does look like a nice little line graph right here. Um, however, notice there's no um, description on the x-axis down here. So we need to add a description on the x-axis right here. And in fact, over here on the setup, on the chart editor, on the right side, you should see this button here that says add x-axis. So I'm going to click that button right there, and then I'm going to click these four squares right there. Once you do this, you'll have a prompt to add a data range, select a data range. I am going to um, scoot over here, and I'm going to select all of my dates, and I'm going to highlight all the way up to the date and all the way down to my last date right there. And um, then I'm gonna click OK. My graph will adjust slightly. And you should notice you now have some dates on the bottom right here. So we've got our graph looking nice and pretty. Um, this is great for presentations and that sort of thing, but we can get a little bit more information right here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to find what's called the trend line. Uh, we're going to find what's called the line of best fit. Um, now, normally this calculation would take us a lot of time by hand, but we're going to let uh, the program do this for us. So I'm going to go down to um, the customize section over here on the right side, and I'm going to go into the series section. And then I'm going to click a couple of boxes here, and it's going to be nice and easy. I'm going to click trend line. We see a line appear right there. And then I'm going to click a couple other things as well. When I come down here to label, I am going to select use equation. And then I'm also going to click show R squared. So these two number, uh, these sets of numbers that appeared up here, we've got 4.66 times by X plus negative 204,857. This is the slope intercept equation of this light blue line right here. This is the y equals mx plus b of this line right here. And we can use that in order to make some predictions. Now, you may be wondering how accurate are these predictions going to be? Well, that's what this r squared is. This r squared represents how accurate our line is compared to the numbers that we inputted. If this number is close to one, then it is very accurate. If this number is close to zero, then it is not accurate at all, and these may just be random points that are not related to each other. So you're gonna need to go in and do the same thing with your information, and then we can use this information here to make a few predictions.